Hey guys, this is a quick video on how to know the dimensions of a data frame. How do we know the number of rows and the number of columns that we have <clears throat> in a data frame? Uh, it's very easy to do in Pandas. Um, let's import Pandas and let's create our data frame. If we have a look at the contents, then we notice we have one, two, three, four columns and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows and to be able to know that to access that maybe use it in further calculations or use it maybe to loop through uh, rows or columns or to do any uh, uh, operation we can use data frame dot shape data frame dot shape um, if we see here it's a property it returns a tuple representing the dimensionality of the data frame so it's a tuple that gives us the number of rows and the number of columns so remember that Data frames are 2D objects and usually uh, the first thing we consider is number of rows and then the number of columns. So when it's a tuple and it will have two elements, the first element is the number of rows and the second element is the number of columns. If I run that, I get 9 and 4, 9, row, n uh, nine rows and 4 columns. And to access the number of rows, let's say for example I want to access the number of rows, I can say df.shape of 0. And that gives me the number of rows. So now the number of rows is nine. And likewise for the number of columns, let's say I want to save it in a variable, then I can say df dot shape of one. And that gives me the number of columns should be four. Uh, sorry, I keep repeating myself, but always bear in mind that the indexing is zero based. So the first element is at index zero. The last element is at, as index uh, n minus one. So the last row is will be at index uh, 8 rather than uh, 9 okay the first one is a 0 uh, another function useful another useful one that we can use is the len function and which gives me back the number of rows so I can do a len df and I get back the number of rows like I said these are quite useful when doing some calculations or if we want to loop through the you know the um, uh, the, the the rows one by one or to loop through the columns one by one then we can use these two ways of getting these values, right? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.